Okay, now let us remember how we handle a question when they are giving us the velocity, the initial velocity in terms of in ID notation. So, a particle is projected from the origin with the velocity that so we, we draw a simple sketch. So we're going to have our particle is going to be projected from the origin. We are assuming this is our point O. Now the velocity they are giving us, they are giving us the they are giving us the velocity is going to project it. Now this velocity, because our V is given our U, so our U is given in terms of 30, then 40. It means that now here we can also start it by giving it in the horizontal. This one, this one is positive and this one is negative also. So meaning at here at the start, I can give it also in terms of a force. I mean in terms of so they are telling me that at least now this one they are going to give us start at this point and they are giving me the velocity horizontally which is 30 meters per second then vertically they are giving me 40 meters per second you see all of them are positive that's why I'm having positive then I'm also having the negative because it's from here they are giving me that velocity at least they are starting there find the position and the velocity vector of the particle after 5 seconds okay it means that now if they want the position remember our r so if i handle r our r t is given by r o then plus s where this s is given by remember our s is given by s x then s y so can we get do on this first our s x is given by if we are consider u t plus a uh, half a t squared. Now here, we say that our s x is going to be our u x then times t. Then we say that there, because we are dealing with horizontal direction, then this one is going to be a uh, half into zero t squared. So our s x here is going to be now. Our particle is that this one is going to act as our u x. This will add as our u y. So it's going to be now 30, then times the time, which is 5. When t is equal to 5. So my sx is going to be 150 meters. Then I come and I get also my sy. My sy is my sx. Then my sy will be given by uy then plus a uh, half a t squared so my s y my u y is that here it's going to be the 40 this one it's going to be 40 times t which is 5 then minus a uh, half 9.8 into 5 the whole squared so our s y here is going to be we are taking our solution to be 9.5 the gravity 25 times then this is going to be 200 so here I'm getting 77.5 meters so after getting that then I can come and say now my R after 5 seconds is going to be R naught then plus S but my S is that my S there is going to be now 150, then 77.5. So my R after 5 seconds is going to be, remember the position where the particle was, it was at the origin, so 0, 0, then plus my S, which is 150, 7.5. And so my R after 5 seconds, now this one is going to be the position of that particle. It's going to be 150. 7.5 meters, which you can only give as the vectors. You can say this is going to be 150 i, then plus 77.5 j, and all these are going to be meters.
Then after that, they want us to get the velocity vector. Remember, our velocity vector D, velocity vector D is given by Bx, then Bx. So how do we get our Bx? Okay. So remember, our Bx using this U plus LT. Okay. Let me, let me pass. Let's stop it at that. Okay. So, my Bx now, remember our B, X I'll say. Now my Bx is going to be Ux. Now this one I'm starting with the component, so actually this is going to be 0. So plus 0 into T. So my Bx is going to be Ux, which is 30 meters per second. Then my Dy, it will be Uy, then minus, because minus now a which is b t so this would be now our ui where it is 40 there then minus our b which is 9.8 then times our pi so our by now from here is going to be what is going to be 9.8 then sphere is giving me negative 9 Meters per second. So I have my V Y. So meaning now the first step V is going to be which is V X V Y is going to be equal to two. Now my V X which is thirty. Then this one is negative nine. Then meters per second. They want vectors. This is also a vector. But if you want, you can give it in the I D in the I D notation. Then minus nine J meters per second and so you are through with that the distance of the particle from all speed and direction of its motion at the same time so the same time after the seconds now if you have this placement then distance will be given by the modulus of that so in our part b our t is going to be modulus of r pi as it passes that so it will be now the square root of R5, which will be 150 squared, then plus 77.5 7, the whole square. And so our distance here is going to be we are getting 168.8. Three seven nine four meters. So that's the distance. Then they want us to get also that speed. How do you get speed? You say speed, or is our speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity, which would be now the square root of. Remember, our v was given by where is our v there? Thirty negative nine meters per second. So if you get the modulus, 30 squared and plus negative 9, now all squared. And so our speed is going to be 31.3209 meters per second. This is going to be our speed. Then if they're asking for the direction, remember, now this one, our V, is that is adding the positive, remember our V is going to be 30, negative 9. So it's like our resultant, this X is positive, then this force is negative, like that. So they, they want to get this alpha there. So this one is our 30, then this one is our 9. So the speed is there, this will be our B. Then if you come in the direction, our alpha will be tan inverse, same of now, dy over bx, which will be tan inverse of 9 over 30, which will be Then, 
going seven degrees. So now we say the speed is that at our speed is that one point three two zero nine three zero nine at sixteen point seven degrees below of that horizontal horizontal as simple as that now they be asking for the distance of the particle from the origin of course if the particle has been displaced in this I want 15 and 7 the meaning if you get the model that will be the distance of the particle from the origin and that will be this is our distance there so that's how it handle I think you see what happens when they give you the initial velocity in terms of i and j. The origin will solve it. This one, the other one is going to be the u y, and this one will give you the u x. So there, you don't need to get the other x equal to it. In simple terms, they are giving it to you at once there. So in simple terms, whenever they give you this, they are giving you the initial horizontal vector, and then the initial vertical vector. So that's it, members. See you there. Now, hey, before you go, if the question is specified, so this is most of the case we are going to use 9.8 as our choice to do right there. But some people can use 10, they can use some 9.8 point something and so on. See you there.